Hello students, um, I'm aware that your examination is uh, just 10 days away but I thought that uh, these videos on friction uh, in which I'm going to solve a few problems of different types if you just watch these videos and in all I don't think you will take more than one hour for the entire all the videos hopefully uh, I think that will be useful okay so this is the first numerical on friction and before I um, before I begin with this I should tell you something see in friction you have uh, uh, two coefficients of friction one is static friction coefficient of static friction and there is dynamic friction or right so and there is a relationship between frictional force and these coefficients remember when it comes to static force, static, I'm sorry, static friction, static co coefficient, of, coefficient of static friction, the relationship F is equal to mu into R, right? F is equal to mu into R is applicable only when the body is about to move, right? The, the force is about to cause the motion. It's still stationary. But when it is about to move, that's called as impending motion, right? So remember, only under that circumstances, uh, circumstances we will apply the relationship F is equal to mu, that is coefficient of static friction, into R, normal reaction, right? Whereas when it comes to uh, dynamic uh, coefficient of friction, uh, you can apply that this relationship F is equal to mu into R whenever the body is in motion, right? So it's uh, in, in case of static situation, uh, it can be applied only when the body is about to move. Okay, I'll, I'll stress this point again. Okay, so here is the numerical. You have two blocks, block A and block B. You are given the weights. There is a string which, which is joining, which is attaching block A to block B. Uh, they are resting on rough surface and you are given that the coefficient of static friction between block A and the, the surface on which it is resting is 0.3. The coefficient of friction between block B and the surface on which it is resting is 0.2. And there is a force P which is pulling this block. And you are asked, and that's, you are given the inclination, its inclination with horizontal. You, you are told, uh, you are asked to find out the value of P, minimum value of P, and please read that, for the system to just to move the p that is required to make this system just to move right it's about to move that means it is impending motion right so you are given a hint that you can use the relationship f is equal to mu into r uh, when you are under such situation and that that's the situation which you are given fine uh, you are also asked to find out at uh, the uh, the tension in the string okay tension in the string remember uh, tension, the direction, when you when you come across tension, you should be very clear about the direction, right? See, for example, uh, this is, I mean, this is a pen, you can consider it a string, whatever, and I'm pulling this uh, pen. So, that means this body is under tension, okay? So, when I want to, uh, when I draw the free body diagram uh, of this body, you will show the two forces acting away from this body, right? Two forces acting away from this body. If I draw the free body diagram of my hand which is holding this pen obviously my hand is pulling this so when I draw the free body diagram of my hand or these fingers it will be the reaction which uh, is coming from the pen so pen will be pulling this in this direction so free body diagram will have my fingers and a force acting away from it right similarly from this side the force acting away from this whereas the free body diagram of this string pen whatever will be if it is under tension the forces will be away from the body. Remember this. Okay. So, all that we have to do when it comes to the problem of friction is to draw free body diagram. So, you have to draw the free, these two free body diagrams. Free body diagram of this A and B. Right. So, let me do that. So, if I want to draw the free body diagram of A, so I will have, suppose I will draw this here. This is object A. Uh, you know, the size will be different, but uh, please uh, accept that this is a uh, now see what is happening is uh, this has got weight which is acting downwards what is the weight weight is 30 newton 
there is going to be the reaction acting upward so i'll call this r a right reaction acting upward and uh, look at this there is going to be this is being pulled towards right hand side so the entire thing is about to move towards right which means this string is going to pull this block right so there is going to be tension t hmm? the force of tension acting on the this block is going to be towards right and since uh, this block entire system is trying to move towards right the frictional force acting at this surface at the bottom surface will be always against the motion right and the motion is is about to begin in towards right so friction is going to be towards left so let's say this is friction f a and this is equal to 0.3 into r1 please note 0.3 into r1 why because this is impending motion it's about to move fine so this is free body diagram of block a similarly you can draw free body diagram of block b so this is b right uh, you have a force here like this this is 30 degrees this is 30 degrees again uh, this has got weight which is equal to 50 newtons the normal reaction right don't immediately say that the normal reaction is going to be 50 because there is some force p right so when you resolve the force vertically uh, that will be in upward direction this is downward direction so the algebraic sum of that hmm, is going to be at with opposite sign is going to be acting upward okay so don't just say 50 newtons will be normal reaction here you could say that the normal reaction is going to be 30 newtons why because this force is horizontal the tension force so it is not going to affect the vertical forces and the body is stationary remember the system is still and uh, still stationary right it's it is about to move so uh, r a will be upward right and that will be equal to 30 newtons which will not be so in this case okay so this is going to be r b right this is r b and what about the frictional force this is going to be uh, pulled towards right the friction again will be towards left right and this friction is going to be 0 0.2 into r b this was 0.3 into i said r1 instead of that i'll say um, r a right 0.3 into r a this is 0.2 into r b right so now you know uh, this once we draw the free body diagram in fact the problem is over right so we don't so all that we have to do is uh, you know see remember one important thing in this case unlike uh, in situations such as uh, ladder we, we will uh, solve some problems uh, you are not given the dimensions of these objects which means you don't have to consider the turning moment of the force so the condition for equilibrium in this case is only sigma fx is equal to zero and sigma fy is equal to zero right so all that you have to do is uh, write down the equations sigma fx is equal to zero sigma fy is equal to zero for this and for this body right once you do this then you know it's pretty straightforward right you can say ra is found out in this case right and you can say 0.3 rva ra is equal to t right so you can find out immediately t once sorry by the way uh, then it, I, I made a mistake and i I'm, i hope that you have pointed it out already you have see there is one more force this body is there is tension here right as i said um th this body is uh, how will you show this this is being pulled and um, when you are what about this body this body is pulling this okay this body is pulling this rope or string this body is pulling so obviously there is good we are drawing free body diagram so we are considering the effect of the external circumstances on this body right so if this body is pulling this rope the rope is pulling this body in this direction remember this okay here we are considering the force in this direction because the rope we are considering the string let's say string um, the effect of string on body a here again we are going to consider the effect of this string on body b what will be the effect of string on this body b when body b is uh, sorry yeah body b is pulling this string the string will oppose, oppose that so 
this is going to be t in this direction okay so you find out t from here substitute it over here this t as you can see you can resolve these forces right so you can basically you'll get uh, you know four equations and you will find out uh, the two unknowns which is p and t and i can give you the answers hopefully Uh, sorry about this. So I'll, I'll uh, basically you. I just missed those answers. It will take some time, but you know, solve this, and uh, I think P will be around 11, and you'll find out T, right? So uh, find out the answer. Maybe in the next video, I'll give you the answers for uh, this uh, uh, this particular video. Otherwise, I have to do editing, and it takes a lot of time. So uh, this is the way to solve this problem. So let's uh, look forward to. I mean, let's let's solve a second problem. Thank you.